Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God, I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, oh, God, that if there's anything, Father, that will hinder me, Lord God, from getting the word through to you, Lord God, Lord, I bind and I rebuke it right now. And I cast it back into the pits of hell right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Elohim, huh, the God of Israel. I call on you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. El Shaddai, huh, the God Almighty, the all-sufficient one. I call on you right now in the name of Jesus. Huh? Yahweh, huh, God of the Israelites. I call on you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Huh? Jehovah Jireh, huh? my provider, I call on you right now in the name of Jesus. Huh? Jehovah Nisi, huh? my banner, I call on you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Huh? Jehovah Rapha, my healer, I call on you right now, God. Jehovah Shalom, my peace. Jehovah Shalom, my peace. Jehovah Shalom, my peace. I call on you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, huh? Jehovah Roha, the Lord is my shepherd. I call on you right now. Jehovah Roha, the Lord is my shepherd. I call on you right now. Oh God, we need your father right now. 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 Right now. Oh God, for the Lord God is my son and my shield. The Lord gives grace and glory. The Lord gives grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Oh God, I just thank you right now, God. And right now, God, as I get ready to bring your word forth, oh God. Lord, I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus that this flesh will stand down. And that the Holy Spirit will stand up. And Lord, take your word to your people, God. Let it not be my, my voice that is heard, God. But let it be your voice that is heard in the mighty name of Jesus. Let this word reach whom it needs to reach. In Jesus' name, I call on a consuming fire to consume up everything the enemy try to bring this way to try to hinder your word from going forth to your people. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Father. Oh, God, I just thank you. Oh, Father, I can't thank you enough. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, da 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 bo go ba sha ta ra da 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 go shun da 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 bo hunda Oh, God, I thank you. I thank you, sha da 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 bo si Oh, God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Have your way, God, right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> I got a word today <clears throat> for God's people. I said I got a word today for God's people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want you guys to stay with me as I get ready to bring this word forth in the mighty name of Jesus. I said stay with me. As I get ready to bring this word forth in the mighty name of Jesus. God is using the storm to push you into greater. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. God is getting ready to, to speak to somebody. And it's not everybody that's going to be able to receive this. Okay. In some places it, it may fall on. On stony ground mm, because you ain't ready to receive this and some going to catch it in the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I say some is going to catch it in the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. OK, as always, you're going to take this word to God in prayer. OK, thank you, Lord. Thank you. OK, um, the Lord gave me. You know, because I had been laying before God really just laying before God. And um, I would go to this prayer line at night. Okay. The person is on YouTube and they have a prayer line and I would go on this prayer line, probably been over a week now. I would go, but I noticed um, as I go to this prayer line, the enemy just start really attacking my spirit in every angle. Okay. And one night 
you know, I was laying down in my bed and I was on this prayer line and I was just repeating everything this, this, this person was saying as they was, you know, praying. They would tell us to read. He would tell us to repeat after him everything that he was saying. And I would, would repeat after him. And one thing, thing he said that stood out, all of it was standing out. But one thing stood out. And I'm going to tell you why it stood out. OK. It stood out because um, the enemy attacked me when I said what he was telling us to say. And it said, he said, um, my father, loose angelic reinforcement for every angel being detained or delayed for my life in the name of Jesus. My father, loose angelic reinforcement for every angel being delayed or detained in my life in the name of Jesus. And as I said that, it was a sharp pain. Just went in my head, like across the top of my head. Mind you, I'm healthy. I go get checked out every year, twice a year, okay? And everything is fine. But this sharp pain just came. And, and as I was saying, I had my eyes closed. But it's like I was kind of dozing off at first. But when that sharp pain came through across my head, like, like lightning. And I sat clean up in my bed and I began to get loud, louder with this because I knew that I was up under spiritual attack. I knew that the enemy was attacking me when I said that. OK, something was being shifted. I said something was being shifted. So you got to be able to see this stuff and know when God is speaking. OK, and when he's not speaking. And I just felt the Holy Spirit just telling me to say it louder in the mighty name of Jesus. I need you to say it louder. I need you to go hard. I'm speaking to somebody. I need you to go stronger. Okay, somebody about to give up. Somebody frustrating you don't understand. Because you've really been seeking God. you really been serving God. You fast, you pray, you tie, you give. You lay before God faithfully. And you see, you see yourself losing things. Okay, like everything you touch slip through your fingers. Okay, but God, the Holy Spirit is getting ready to speak to you today. Thank you. Have your way, Holy Spirit, right now. And where God took me at, he took me to Job. Thank you, Father. And I was trying to land it to be exact with it. It's going to be Job. I want you all to read Job chapter 32, verse 2 to 3. Okay, this, this is okay. And what it was talking about, I'm not going to read it. But I'm just going to kind of, you know, sum it all up. But you guys could go and read it. And I try to put it down in the description box. But what what, what I saw in that, because the Job friends, his friends now. Okay. Your religious friends. Okay. Was condemning him. Okay. They was telling him to repent. It's something you must have done wrong to be going through this. Ha, da, 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 bo, ba, sha, ta. Heck, get it all. Oh, God, some of your re religious friends, for some of you, are condemning you, are telling you to repent. It's something that you've done wrong. And you're trying to figure out, Lord, what is it I have done wrong? I, 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 I lay before you, God, I don't understand. I repent every day. I don't understand, God. You know, my heart is for you, Lord. And I don't understand why I'm going through all these trials and tribulations. Oh, God, the Holy Spirit is getting ready to speak to somebody today. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way, Holy Spirit, in this place, God. Have your way. Let me tell you. Okay, it was nothing. Can I tell you that it was nothing that you did wrong? Mm -hmm. you, you, you feel like the harder you pray, the more the, the, the harder that the enemy attack you. But I just want to tell you today that it's nothing that you have done wrong. Mm -hmm. Your faith is being tested. <clears throat> you got to pass this test. Mm, that storm that you in, you got to ride it out. OK, will you be able to ride this storm out? OK, until you get to dry land or will you give up and just drown? I'm speaking to somebody now. Uh huh. Will you be able to ride this storm out until you get to dry land, which is you and the Lord? Or will you just give up and throw up your hands and drown? OK, and let the enemy have his way. The Lord is calling you today to ride this storm out in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh huh. The harder the enemy comes, the harder you got to lay before God. Don't you give up. Don't you throw up your hands and don't you quit. Okay. I got another scripture for you. Proverbs 3, 5. Okay. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not into thy own understanding. Okay. God is with you. Regardless of what you going through. You don't understand what you going through and why you going through what you going through. 
Okay. And you may not never understand. Okay. But keep your eyes and your focus on God, regardless of what come your way. Okay. I know some of you guys have lost things in, in this storm that, 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 that hurt that, that storm that came. Okay. Guys, Hold on and be strong. Because remember, when things change, God don't never change. He always remain the same. Uh-huh. That storm, God is using for a lot of you all to push you where he wants you to be. Uh-huh. You're being pushed. You're being purged. Uh-huh. God is, is, is molding you and making you into what he needs for his kingdom. Some of you guys have ministry, ministries and you don't understand because you know your heart is for God. And God see your heart. But, but, but then you pray to God and you tell God you want greater. You about to get greater. Uh-huh. God is pushing. But in order, in order to get that greater, you got to ride this storm out. Uh-huh. You got to ride it out. You got to be strong. And you got to ride it out. And while you riding that storm out, don't even look at what's going on around you. Uh-huh. Don't even look at how you've been affected. You just keep your focus and your eyes on God and know that God is with you. He say, I never leave you. Never, ever. Never ever would the Lord leave you, nor will he forsake you, and nor will your seed beg it bread. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This was in my spirit to bring to you guys, okay, that may be going through these trying times right now. Okay, and you don't understand. But some of you, you have to go through the storm because the storm is used to push you. Uh-huh. That, that, that powerful force. That's pushing you. That's stripping things away from you. You know, some of you, your homes have lost homes in this devastation. I've been there. Okay. And it wasn't through the storm that took me out. This was way before the coronavirus and he, this storm. Okay. I lost my home back in 2014. And, and then I lost my husband. Okay. I was losing everything was being stripped. And I couldn't understand what was going on. Lord, I don't understand, Father. I don't understand. Lord, I don't deserve this. I don't understand, God. What, what, what is going on, God? Okay, didn't know that I was being molded, that God was using a storm to press and push me, okay, into this place where I am now, okay? Let me tell you something, guys. People think when you come to God, is everything going to be easy? Why are you going through that? Why this and that? You must be doing something wrong. No, it ain't what you're doing wrong. A lot of times it's what you're doing right, okay? God is using that storm to push you into the destination, into your purpose, into your calling for his kingdom so that he could get the glory and the honor out of it. Okay. Our job is to praise God through the storm mm, when it don't feel good. You see, it's easy to praise him when everything going good. Oh, when you being blessed with the house. But what about when the house get taken away? Ha! Huh? Can you praise him then? God want to know, can you praise him then? What about when you lose your job? Huh? Can you praise him then? God want to know, can you praise him then? Can you stand in this storm? Mm -hmm. Greater levels, greater devils. And remember, to whom much is given, much is required. God is requiring more out of you. He's requiring your faith. To go to another level. So therefore, you got to press on through this storm. You got to trust God even when you can't see your way. When it look dark. And you trust in God to be a candle. In places where you cannot see. When you walk with God, it's like you walking blindfolded. Because a lot of things that happen to you, you don't understand. But can I tell you, we got to press on anyway. Mm, can I tell you, I pressed on anyway. And that's why I'm sitting here today to tell you that just... Press on and just trust God in spite of what it looked like. I know it hurt and I know it's painful. Okay. I can't say that I know what you're going through, but I know what it felt like what I was going through. Okay. Because all of us deal with stuff differently. Okay. All of us deal with stuff differently. Okay. It hurted me and it was painful when I was being purged. And can I tell you, I'm still being purged. Okay. I fight God sometimes with this calling. Oh yeah. I fight him. Okay. Because some things he be asking me to do, I don't want to do. But the Bible say obedience is better than sacrifice. Okay. I know I got to be obedient to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Okay. But this walk, when you're walking with God, guys, you got to know that it's not going to be easy. But it's worth it. Praise God. I say it's not going to be easy, but it is worth it. Just hold on to God unchanging hands and know that he is God and that he is not asleep. 
and that he's with you every step of the way, no matter what it look like. Just surrender your all and just say, Lord, whatever your will is, let it be done. I trust you, Lord. That's where I am with God in my situation. Lord, I trust you, Father. Whatever your will is, if it's for me to, to leave here and go wherever you want me to go, Father, whatever it is, let your will be done, Father. Okay? We got to stand on the word of God. We can't just stand on it when everything is good, but we got to stand when things are not looking so good for us. But can I tell you, things don't have to go the way they seem like it's going. It may seem like, you know, when people look in the fleshly eyes that things is not working out in your favor. But can I tell you, everything works out for the good of those that love the Lord. All things, everything is working out for your good right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Just hold on and be strong and know that God is God and he is on the throne and he is in control. Trust that it's working out for your good. Peace be still. And know that he is God. I love you guys. I hope this message blesses somebody. Because it was just in my spirit. To bring forth this, this message. Okay. I pray that this message be a blessing. To, to let you guys know that God haven't forgot you. Okay. He haven't forgotten about you. Okay. He's with you. Even when you don't hear him. He's with you. And he see your faithfulness. Okay. Hold on and be strong. And I just want to say thank you real quick, guys, for the guys that are given to this ministry. They have been a blessing and that even given to other ministry, wherever the Holy Spirit leads you to, 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 to give, do it, be obedient to the voice of God. OK, just know that God is faithful and that God will provide and make a way for you. Praise God. I'm a witness. I'm a testimony. OK, God is providing and making ways for me, even when I can't see my way. Trust him, guys. And I promise you. He will not let you down. I don't care what it looked like. Trust in the Lord. Okay, God bless. And I pray that God will bless you guys a hundred folds, all you guys. You know, I pray that God will just loose blessings over your life right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, right now, right now. I pray that everything that you have lost, that be restored triple. Okay, a triple, a hundred folds. Okay, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Just know that God is faithful. God is faithful. It's impossible for him to lie. Before his word return, boy, heaven and earth will pass away. Okay? In Jesus' name, you guys be blessed. Amen.